Welcome to Specific Love. Have you ever considered buying a CNC machine for your workshop or your business to help just produce things a little bit faster, a little bit more efficient? Well, here's one more idea I want you to keep in mind before you make that purchase. Now the size of your CNC machine and its capabilities should help determine which one you buy. Now most CNC machines are quite large, you can get them smaller, but if you want to do decent products, they will be quite large. And that will take up a lot of room in your workshop. So you need one that's a little bit more versatile. Now if it was only possible to have a CNC machine, let's say a laser engraver, maybe even a 3D printer in one, that would be great, you'd save a lot of room. And that brings us to today's sponsor, StepCraft. Now, Stepcraft sent me this awesome CNC machine. Now, this is the M1000. When I was talking a second ago about having a 3D printer, a laser engraver, and CNC all in one, it's all done off of this mount right here. This right here currently is one of their milling spindles, but you remove this and you add the additional pieces. The 3D printer or the laser engraver mounts right on here, and it is done all in this one area. Therefore, you can have all three machines in one space and take up less area in your shop. Now a really cool feature about this machine is the ability to remove these top layers and actually drop it down to a lower level. Just to say you have a really thick slab and you need that extra room. There's not enough room through the normal height so you can lower it down. But there's something even better than that. And not only can this tabletop be lowered, it can actually be removed completely. And because of this long Z axis on this unit here, you can now get some vacuum panels and attach these to the bottom of your unit. And that gives you the ability to actually drill and carve out stuff below the surface of this unit. For example, let's say you wanted to do something cool on your workbench, or maybe on your concrete floor, or maybe if you get the right hanging equipment, on a wall. And by attaching this, you use just a basic vacuum. It has a nice suction which adheres everything to the surface you want to work on. And now you can have a really cool logo or whatever design you want in a very unusual area. So if you're looking for a CNC machine, definitely keep this open as one of your options. But let's get to the good stuff. Let's go make something. Now I should probably tell you that I've never actually made anything with a CNC machine before. So I'm new to this and there's a good chance I might make a mistake here and there. So go easy on me. Now for my first project, I wanted to do something simple. And in my time, it is the day before Easter. So I wanted to do something cool that I could display at my church tomorrow. So I decided to do a cross and some large Easter eggs. So let's go put this in a machine. Now to make this project, I'm gonna be using some 3 quarter inch maple plywood. And then I have some MDF spoil board below it just to make sure I don't accidentally cut into the table. Now normally when you're using this spindle here, you're gonna have this little dust boot. It's gonna gather all the dust and get sucked up through this vacuum port. But since I actually want you to see this spindle working in this process, I'm not gonna attach this right now. Now the cutting took a little bit longer than I was planning, but I'm still learning and I had to factory set, so I probably could speed it up and tweak it just a little bit in the future. But overall, these came out really, really nice. Now it's time for me to cut out the tabs, which I left in place so it wouldn't come apart in the process of being cut, do a little bit of sanding, and then it should be ready to display. 
It's a little bit late here in the shop, and right now I'm completely blanking on the name of this saw this blade goes to. But in any case, I need a small blade or a small knife to get down here and cut these tabs out. I'm actually gonna pull upwards on these to make sure that we are cutting towards the center of the plywood, that way it's less likely to have any tear out. So fine, that would be going up, all right, like so. Just go in here and carefully cut them out. There we go, there's one of the eggs. I got three more to go and across. Let's do this. So these are finally finished and I'm kind of impressed. I mean, these are the very first CNC project I've ever done. And uh, well, let me know what you think. I mean, they are quite simple, but definitely. If there's any ideas you had for improvements, let me know, put it in the comments. Otherwise, uh, well, I hope you get a chance to play on a CNC machine soon. I just want to thank Stepcraft one more time for sending out this awesome CNC machine. I had a great time playing with it and I have learned a ton and I'm sure I'll get a lot better on future projects as well. So if you're interested in a CNC machine, go check them out. Otherwise, get out in the shop and have fun building. Do this! No. CNC machine. CNC machine. CNC machines. CNC machine. CNC machine. I keep saying CM machine. If you're waiting to play with.